ears and happy Saturday. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new here. My name is Emma and I'm so happy you clicked on my what's for dinner video number 113. I hope you love it. We'll give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I make a what's for dinner video every week. They are four easy, affordable, and delicious weeknight dinners that I made for my husband and I the previous week. There is a whole playlist of what's for dinner videos up on my channel. Let's jump right on into this week's what's for dinner video. Here's everything I'm gonna be using for tonight's dinner. If I'm being completely honest, I really don't feel like cooking anything. It's Monday and I just feel blah. So this is what I've come up with. I'm gonna cook some of these Trader Joe's pot stickers and some ginger, but first I'm gonna fry them up. All right, these have been frying up for a few minutes. Now I'm gonna add some of this ginger broth, also from Trader Joe's. Do a little stir, 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 and I'm just gonna let them boil up. I was gonna add some crushed ginger, but this smells pretty gingery, so I think I'm just gonna omit the ginger this time because I've never had this ginger broth before. But anyway, I'm just gonna let these boil up for about five minutes. And to serve them up, I just added some of this crunchy chili onion um, dip from Trader Joe's, a little lime juice, and some green onion. And I just made a cheese quesadilla for dipping. And then here it is all served up. Super simple and delicious. Here's everything I'm gonna be using for tonight's dinner. I'm gonna start by browning up 16 ounces of ground beef with some purple onion, some jalapeno peppers, and some of this Trader Joe's crunchy chili onion blend seasoning. Then once it's all browned up, I'm gonna drain it and add some of this cheese tortellini. Give it a good old stir, stir, stir. Then I'm gonna add some red enchilada sauce. Give that a good old stir, stir, stir. And then I'm gonna pop the lid on and let it cook for 25 minutes until the tortellini is cooked. Now I'm gonna get our toppings ready. So we just washed and cut up some cilantro. We have some Fiesta blend cheese and some sour cream. And then I'm just gonna heat up some tortillas. And then to our tortini enchilada bowls, I just added the sour cream, the cheese, and some cilantro. And then of course, our tortilla on the side. Absolutely delicious. Here's everything I'm going to be using for tonight's dinner. My husband just cut up the rotisserie chicken into slices. My oven is preheating to 400 degrees. I'm gonna lay some of these ciabatta rolls out on my baking sheet like that. Next, I'm gonna add some of this um, pesto to each bun. Like that. Next, I'm gonna lay a slice of sliced mozzarella on each roll like that. Next, I'm gonna add some tomato and onion to the bottoms of the rolls. Tomato is on, onion is on. Now on our tops, I'm going to put the chicken. Like that. Now into my 400 degree oven they go for 10 minutes. Here they are out of the oven. On mine, I'm just gonna add some of this balsamic vinegar. I thought I had a balsamic glaze, but I don't. But this will do. And then there they are all served up. Delicious. Here's everything I'm going to be using for tonight's dinner. I am preheating my oven to 400 degrees. In my casserole dish here, I'm going to add 
10 ounces of cherry tomatoes. All right, I just wash them and throw them in. Next, I'm gonna add some purple onion I need to use up. Next, I'm gonna add some olive oil. Give a little toss. Now in the middle, I'm gonna pop this borsin garlic and fine herbs cheese. I like that. Now I'm gonna drizzle the borsin cheese with a little olive oil. Okay, now I'm just gonna season it up with some Italian seasoning. I was wondering why the Italian seasoning wouldn't come out. I was <laughs> tipping it the wrong way. <laughs> Look at that. Then into my 400 degree oven it goes for 20 minutes. Now I'm gonna bring a pot of salted water to a boil to cook up our noodles. I'm just gonna be using some penne. Now I'm just gonna wash and detail my shrimp. Just like that, now the shrimp's ready to go. My pasta water is boiling up. I'm just gonna add some of my penne. Give it a stir, stir, stir. We're just gonna let that cook up. It's been 20 minutes, and I'm gonna take this out. Try and smash it up. Just until all the tomatoes are squished. Give it a little mix, mix, mix. Now I'm gonna add my shrimp. Like that. And then I'm gonna stir in the shrimp. Now I'm gonna add some of my chicken. Start that in. Now I'm just gonna throw some of these non breads in the oven for about a minute or two. All right, give it a little stir. Now I'm gonna stir in some of this pasta. Then once I stirred in the pasta, it was all ready to serve it up. And then here it is, all served up absolutely delicious and that concludes this week's what's for dinner video i hope you guys loved it we'll give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and come back next week for my what's for dinner video number 114 have a fabulous rest of your weekend and a wonderful week ahead bye